Hello guys, uh, welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards. Today we're going to talk about uh, how to bind your Excel file uh, to the data grid view. Okay, this is what we are going to do. You can see uh, here I have uh, this form. It has a data grid view and a button. If I click retrieve, uh, the thing will connect to Excel. Okay, it will connect to Excel file and retrieve this data. It is not getting them from a database, it's getting them from Excel file. In fact, here is that particular Excel file. You can see uh, position, team, points, games, manager. This is our Excel file. Okay, and now uh, let's close this one. We fire up our IDE. I'm using Visual Studio 2013. Uh, you can use any. Control Shift N to create a new project. I'll call Excel up. I'll call our thing Excel up. Okay, and then it shows for us this particular form. Now what shall uh, what I shall do? I'll just add uh, a data grid view and a button. These are the only two we need. Yeah. So uh, here is our button. I'll just uh, change this one to control back color. We'll give it something a little bit nice. I don't know what is good. I think this here is better. Not seashell. I think here is good. So. Uh, here is our data grid view, it's known as data grid view 1. Here is our button. Uh, I'll change the properties of the button to make it better. I'll give it something like gold, even if it is bright. Then uh, I'll change its text property uh, to retrieve, because it's what will be responsible for retrieving our data from the data grid view. Oh, sorry. This one should be Excel, not this one is the form. Okay, retrieve from Excel. Then uh, for our button, I'll also change its properties. Like I said, I'll give it that one. Then I'll call it retrieve. BTN. Double click it to the take us to the code. Inside the code, uh, we shall have a method known as retrieve. I'll define it in a minute. So, uh, the first thing that we have to know, just like uh, Microsoft Access, Excel makes use of uh, Microsoft.jet.ledb. Okay. So we just define the way we normally uh, define. Uh, when we want to connect to access database. So I'll just uh, define first of all the connection string say string con string equals to provider is equal to Microsoft dot jet dot OLEDB. Okay. This is our provider Microsoft Jet. In fact, this is the provider in this machine. Some machines may have Microsoft .jet.ledb.12.0. Okay. Then uh, our data source, we shall pass the path of our XML file. Excel file, I mean. Okay. Now this is our Excel file. Uh, I saved it in my documents, if I'm not wrong. So this is our path. To know the path of your Excel file, uh, just go to properties. Then here it is. Copy that one. Bring it to your code. So I'll paste uh, that one over there quickly. Then uh, let's make this one too. So. Uh, my Excel file is known as Excel.xls. 
I'll explain this extension uh, in a short while. Then after that one, we shall also have to pass the extended properties. So say extended properties equal to Excel. Okay, eight point zero. Then we close it. We we'll close that one also. Next, uh, we shall come and uh, define. I hope I not having any mistake. The next thing that we shall do, uh, we shall come and define our retrieve method. So say private void retrieve. Inside the uh, retrieve method, the first thing that we'll do is that we shall define the SQL statement. So say SQL select asterisk from sheet one okay then uh, after defining our select statement we shall also define uh, the connection create connection object like it's uh, like access it also uses OLED DB OLED DB connection con equal to new sorry new OLED DB connection Inside the OLEDB connection, we shall pass the con string, that is the connection string. Then, uh, remember, we have to resolve this one. So, using system. Okay. Then, uh, after that one, I shall also create an adapter. So, I shall say uh, OLEDB data adapter adapter equal to new OLEDB data adapter inside the uh, data adapter I shall pass the SQL statement that we wrote and then the connection object then that one we have our adapter after the adapter uh, we shall create a data set So say a uh, data set ds equal to new data set. Then uh, we shall fill the adapter with the data set adapter dot fill. Then we pass the uh, data set inside uh, the adapter the inside the fill method I mean then after filling the uh, the adapter with the data set now what we shall do we shall uh, define we shall create uh, we shall bind okay the data grid view uh, to the data source so say data grid view dot data source equal to ds dot tables the first one and then uh, we shall close our connection uh, let's do ex uh, exhaust our resources so that is it uh, I'm seeing I have a couple of errors I don't know where they are so uh, guys, before I run the thing, I have to explain something. You see, in your machine, uh, like for me, I'm using Microsoft Office 2013. Okay. Now, uh, from I think it is from 2007. Uh, I think from Office 2007. When you come to uh, Excel, when you come to save it, wherever you want to save it, they usually different formats. For instance, you can see uh, that the latest that is the which is by default in the 
April 7 to 2013 is this Excel workbook okay it is the latest version but for me my machine uh, does not have the uh, provider that can uh, read the this one for the Excel in fact when we save here this one will normally save it as dot Excel SX okay but my machine doesn't have the provider that can uh, read that extension so what I do is that I'll save it in compatibility mode because this is my Microsoft .jet .oledb .4.0 it can do the compati the one in the compatibility mode so that's what I'll do so if you find that she was is telling you that unrecognized format you just come and change it okay like you can see here Excel 97 to 23 and I save it that way it depends on the machine you have and then I come and uh, run our stuff let me close this one no you can see i have an error i'm being told uh unrecognized escape okay this one should not be two this should be three then this one here sorry then uh, i think it's over now let's run it and see So if I click retrieve, it fills my data grid view with the data uh, from the uh, from the Excel. Okay. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Please, if you have a uh, comment on this video, uh, like it, share it, subscribe, and please take care. See you next time.